This is the 36 volt 12 amp power lithium battery pack made out of old laptop battery. The maximum power output is 25 amps or 900 watt. You can easily get a range of more than 40 km on a 250 or 300 watt motor in a single charge. First of all, I collected a big bag of old laptop batteries from laptop repair shops. I got them pretty cheap, about a dollar and a half each, so got more than 10 pieces. A quick reminder that I am going to do a crazy stupid project when I reach 1k subscribers. So please subscribe fast for that video to come in. Uh, the second step was to disassemble the batteries to get to the cells. You can easily do it with a plier and some muscle strength. Since all cells are not good cells, it is a good idea to check all these cells and separate the cells having voltage more than 2.5 volt as good cells and cells having voltage between 1 to 2 volt as recoverable cells. And if the cells have voltage lower than 1 volt, then you can pretty much dispose it. Because we only want these cells, as a fourth step, we can just remove all the old battery circuitry and cut the series connections so that we have individual parallel groups. And at the same time, it is a good idea to write cell model numbers in a notebook so we can see the datasheet later on. Some of the cells were visually identical, so my sister gave them a unique name so that no confusion will arise later on. We also pulled the old nickel strips connecting the cells to separate the individual cells. And after repeating the same tax again and again for several hours, a pile of cells finally began to form up on my table. Among the total 82 cells I collected from deassembling all the batteries, 57 were in good condition and 12 of them were in ok condition and could be restored to be used in a small project. But 13 of them were dead cells. Overall, getting 57 good cells each having more than 2000 mAh of battery capacity on $18 is a very great deal. To make a decent battery pack for an e-bike conversion project, we will need cell holders. And because of a limited capacity, I couldn't purchase those plastic cell holders, so I designed myself a cell holder for 36 volt 12 amp power or 10 s 6 p battery pack. You can download this file from the link in the video description and you can print it without any scaling, just print as it is. And after cutting to the right size, you can mark the outline in a wood piece or plywood. The minimum recommended wood thickness is 10 mm and you can go as thick as you want. Using a handsaw will take lots of energy with a decent time to get the job done. Do this to another part as well. Use some sandpaper if surface area is rough. And using the favicle to stick the template works great. Repeat this process and you will end up with two identical pieces. Then you can mark the pilot holes from a big nail so that drilling would be easier later on in this video. Then you can use a 18mm drill bit to drill the holes but not here. You should not drill all the way through. Leave 2 or 3mm at the bottom so that it can grab the cells when we create a pack out of it. Then we should also drill the piece all the way through from a 12mm drill bit so that we can solder on the cell terminals in the next video. Sand the pieces thoroughly so that no wood spike can hurt your fingers. Be careful. Because this is wood and not plastic, protection is essential so using some paint would definitely help. And also the cells from the laptop battery were all different. I categorized the cells into the groups of similar specifications. And if you want to know how I did that in detail, then better go to my Patreon page. We can have live talks there to clear all of your confusions. And after all of this, now we can finally fill the cell terminals with solder and a powerful soldering iron at least of 60W with a thicker tip is must here, not to overheat the batteries. Since the video is getting too long, let's break this video into two separate parts and the next video will come very soon. Do like and subscribe, it really means a lot to me. Thank you, see you in the next video, bye bye.